What's up, Alba fans? I'm Luke. This is Martin. And uh, we're here to do a little post-game fan talk. So we're going to read some questions from you guys. Uh, first off, our questions for Martin. Uh, this one comes from uh, Bossa. It's, how is your back? Will you be playing against Göttingen? Uh, my back is feeling much better. Uh, I practiced today and, and yeah, it didn't the back didn't really give me any problems. So uh, if, if coach picks me on the team tomorrow, I'm playing for sure. All right. Uh, second question comes from Fred. Fred asks, "What does a day after a game look like? How long are you allowed to sleep? What do you do to recover?" Uh, I mean, it kind of depends on the day. Now we're playing every two days, so it's a, it's a little bit different. Um, if it would be a day off, well, I would probably be waking up around 11. But now we usually we usually have breakfast breakfast at what 10, 10.30, yeah, something around that. And uh, what was the other question? What do I usually do? Uh, what do you do to recover? Recover. Um, I get treatment. Um, usually if I'm in Berlin, I'll take a ice bath at our uh, practice facility. Um, and then just a little bit of stretching and, and try to eat as, as good as possible. All right, third question comes from Jenny. Jenny asks, how does it feel if a teammate refuses to take the last shot and therefore doesn't have to buy some donuts? And second part is, or will, Luke, or will donuts be on Luke for the triple double? The second question, 100%. Uh, I think if you get a triple double, it should be triple donuts, right? Uh, yeah, we'll have to go to the rule book. <laughs> Uh, but uh, yeah, definitely, if you refuse to take the last shot, uh, that count as double donuts, in my opinion. And uh, I'm putting that rule in right now, and uh, Landry. Landry has to pay. Even though we told him not to shoot. Uh, <laughs> uh, Myla asks, what's your favorite thing to do in the hotel, and with whom? Uh, so many options. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my favorite thing to do is probably, yeah, being at the golf simulator um, with with Luke, Marcus, and Tyler. Pretty much the only guys who can play on the team, so that's probably number one. The other thing is um, we're playing a little bit of Call of Duty, and then everybody is there. A little bit of Call of Duty. A little bit of Call of Duty, and everybody is in their own room at that point. So. Um, yeah, playing golf and being on the PlayStation so it sounds really, really fun. Yeah, <laughs> good life. Uh, Jonathan asks, who's the toughest player you've played against in the BBL? Not on Alba, Berlin. Not on Alba. Um, toughest. I mean, just looking at the results and... and I would say probably last year, Jedovic in the finals. He, I mean, he was guarding me and I was guarding him and he gave me a, a lot of problems. Um, other than that, it's, I mean, Mado Lowe is, is good, Braden Hobbs, Maha Basic, even though I don't guard him a lot, but uh, those are the, the first name the names that come up to my head. Uh, okay, what do you miss most? This is, sorry, this is from uh, Jens. Jens? Jen, Jens? Uh, what do you miss most about Berlin and Iceland right now while in this hotel? Of course, what I miss most is my, my wife and my son. Um, that's number one, two, and three. Um, from Berlin, probably just being able to go outside and, and go to Prince or, or Transit or somewhere nice to eat. Um, also going to Pankow golfing in the in the nice weather. Uh, from Iceland, basically just friends and family. And of course, you know, I would love to have some of the food there or, or candy or something, but nothing that's really, you know. All right. And the last question is from uh, Paula or Paula. Who do you think has good chances to become tournament MVP? Uh, one of the guys sitting in this room right now, and uh, it's not me. So you can you can take a, take a guess. No, by far, Luke Sigma at the moment, no doubt. 
you gotta win something first. True. All right, that's it. Uh, now it's we're flipping roles here. All right, ready? Let's, let's rock. First question is from Seth. Congratulations for, for becoming the first Alba player that achieved the triple double in the BBL. Did your teammates already come up with a triple double duty, or was that your first triple double as a pro? Uh, thank you. First off, um, that was actually my first triple double ever. Um, I've been close quite a few times, but uh, you know, luckily they they gave me that extra rebound uh, after the game, and I, I was able to get one. But um, I mean, I think the duties just got to be donuts. Uh, that's kind of the basis for what if anyone accomplished something on the team. So I think I got to add my name to the list uh, and bring some donuts here soon. You'll be playing the NBA, it'll be triple double every game, I guess. A little bit harder so. here in Europe. Yeah. Uh, next question is from Philip. Uh, do you feel an increase of interest for this tournament from the outside compared to the last few years? Uh, I think that's a great question. Um, it's kind of hard to tell just because you know we're in the bubble and you're not really talking to people on the street, or maybe you can tell a little bit on uh, social media, but I think more than anything, you know, we're the first league to start back up. So I think there's a lot of interest from, you know, leagues who could potentially step back up, including the NBA. And, um, you know, people are keeping an eye on us and, and how uh, this tournament goes. And obviously so far it's gone great, but uh, I think there could definitely be some extra interest. Next question is from Chris Christopher or Christopher. Uh, first of all, great game, Luke. What do you think about the quarterfinal against Göttingen? What is your plan against them? I wish you guys good luck and I believe in you. Thank you, Christopher. Um, you know, it's gonna be a tough quarterfinal. In a two game aggregate series like this, anything can happen. Uh, if, but you know that if you get two wins, the two games, you're automatic, you're gonna move on to the next, you know, the next round. So uh, really we're focused on just trying to win that first game. Gottingen's, you know, a tough team. Um, you know, I really like how they play. And, uh, you know, we're gonna, we have maximum respect for them. and. But we're mostly going to focus on ourselves and try and, and play our best game and play better than the last game. And that's kind of always our goal and, and be comfortable with the result. I mean, Bennett probably knows all our plays anyway. Yeah, so. yeah we've we'll got to keep Bennett in check too. Uh, next question is from Martin. Uh, do you see a change in the acceptance of this tournament within the foreign players? Yeah, um, I think so. Uh, I know there was skepticism. I mean, not only by foreign players, but I think you including a lot of the German players as well. Um, you know, I think when we first heard that they were going to try and finish out the season, uh, there's a lot of skepticism, um, you know, but I think as time went on and we saw all the protocols and all the measures that the league was taking to ensure our safety, uh, I think, you know, those quickly faded away and uh, I think the biggest concern coming into this was, you know, in terms of physical injury, uh, kind of only getting a couple weeks to prepare and heading into, you know, two, three games a week um, after coming off a two month stop basically was, you know, definitely a worry of, of a lot of the players. But, um, you know, I think, you know, almost two weeks into this, we've seen, uh, we've seen that it's gone really well. And luckily there's been no, you know, big injuries and guys are out there competing and it's, you know, pretty good basketball. Uh, things considered so uh, I think I think everyone's you know happy with where we're at. Uh, question from uh, Julia. Könnt ihr beide schon etwas besser Deutsch sprechen? Uh, ich spreche nur ein bisschen Deutsch. Uh, ich heiße Luke. Meine Lieblingsfarbe ist Blau. Uh, zwei Bier bitte. Uh, guten Abend. I mean that's I got a couple more, but that's about it. Uh, still working on on German. Uh, obviously, didn't really study up when I was back in, in the States for a little while, so uh, still working on it. Um, that was a question for both of us, or did you see? I have no idea. It was in German. Yeah, my so. Deutsch back in is natürlich. Uh, uh, don't Luke, get it started. Luke, uh, Just next question. Deutsch is back Kinder Deutsch. <laughs> Kinder Deutsch. Uh, next question is from Jens. Uh, as such a versatile and experienced player, do you think about coaching in the future after winning a couple more titles with Alba? Yeah, I like what you said, after winning a couple more titles. Um, definitely have thought about it. 
uh, you know, kind of have in the back of my mind. But, uh, you know, I still got good 10, 15 years of playing left. So, you know, we'll cross that bench when we come to it. I've got these young legs now, so I've got to use them while I still can. And, uh, but, you know, I, I've, you know, obviously been very lucky to play for some great coaches and uh, learned a lot from them. And I think it'd be a great opportunity to, you know, to, um, you know, further that knowledge and, and help spread that to a younger generation and, and use what I've learned from them to, you know, help be a, a coach. And, uh, you know, so it's definitely, an, you know, a possibility I've entertained, but, you know, I'm just focused on and enjoying playing right now. He's staying in Berlin the next 30 years, for sure. Uh, next question from Julian. Who is the best golf player in the hotel except Martin? Well, it's not Martin. I know he just added that piece in, but, uh, you know, we got four guys that, you know, we play, we always get our little personal Ryder Cup going and some good competition, but I think right now it's got to be Marcus Erickson. Uh, he got got his new clubs, brought him here. He's played them most already. This yeah, summer. and he's, I mean, for a skinny little guy, he crushes the ball. You know, it must be a shooter, hand-eye coordination thing because his ball striking is unbelievable. And, uh, you know, he's been playing really good. But, you know, any day one of us can beat, beat him. So, you know, he's the top dog right now, but we're coming for him. You're all set. That's all it. Set. All right, fans. Uh, that's been our fan talk. Uh, again, we appreciate the support. We know you're not there in the gym, but uh, we know you're out there supporting us. And uh, we miss you guys and, and hope to see you soon. All right. Talk to you later. Bye. Take care, guys.